Hello everyone, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair here again, another video. This time I'm going to be talking about WSUS Offline Update. Now this tool's been around for quite a while, but it has really improved as of late in my opinion. And um, re just real quick, let's take a look here. This is the website. You want to go to WSUSOffline.net, WSUSOffline.net. And uh, uh, Ben Whitrock is the creator of WSUS Offline Update. And um, you just go to that site. That's where you'll download the latest version. It says here, latest version. And um, he also has a uh, donate button, guys. If you like his product, donate. Uh, because his tool saves you tons of time. And I'm going to, I'm going to demonstrate this uh, right over here. I have a Acer computer here on my bench. I have installed a nice clean copy of Windows Vista. Vista is awful when trying to do updates. This is Service Pack 1. Vista takes forever to update uh, online. So what I have here is my toaster. I have a 250 gig hard drive plugged into uh, yeah plugged into it and that goes to my computer. I have WSUS installed and updated on my hard drive here. So basically we're running. I'm going to go ahead and update or show you how easy it is to run this update WSUS. So we'll just power up the external drive here and we'll let it install here on the computer and once it assigns it a drive letter it says we're ready to to rock on that so let's go in and find it all right here it is new volume i is where it's at it's about 20 gigs of space taken up on that drive. So basically you just browse to the folder WSUS Offline and you go into WSUS Offline again and then from this point if you want to update the actual software that would be where you would run it. So this is what I clicked originally when I put WSUS on this external drive and if you double click on that it'll run the updater and it'll actually update what's on the drive itself. That way you'll uh, have the latest updates for Windows XP, Vista 7, 32-bit, 64-bit, and also all of the Microsoft Office updates. So, but in this case we want to update this computer, this Windows install of Windows Vista. So we want to just go to Client and then we'll scroll down to the update installer and we'll just run that and we'll just accept the security hit the run we'll hit allow okay we'll hit okay now here you'll have selections of what you want to install and basically you just want to go through and check everything that you want installed we want we want framework we want PowerShell I want security essentials on this computer and we want don't necessarily need the office file validation because I don't have office installed on this computer uh, we want to check the automatically reboot and recall yes don't necessarily need a log file we can shut down after updating if we want to. We definitely want to verify installation packages. So it looks like we're all set here. I'll just click start. And what this will do basically is it will uh, it will determine what updates are needed on this computer and start installing them immediately. This completely bypasses having to connect to Microsoft servers and download these updates and uh, just really cuts down on the time taken 
And if you see right here, the third line down, it says installing most recent Windows service pack. So it gets right to it. And there it is. It's already installing service pack two for Vista. No download needed because it's already all been done. Service pack two. I can walk away from this. It will it will reboot and recall itself until all the updates are done. And uh, it's a really awesome tool, guys. So again, Ben Whitrock, thank you very much for this tool. It's awesome. Guys, go to his site wsusoffline.net download his program and donate to him I think he deserves it okay guys uh, thanks for watching my little video here if you like what you see hit the like button leave a comment hit that subscribe button because uh, I have many more computer repair videos on the way so until next time see you later